आई एम डॉक्टर रिचा जगता आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट एट नोवा आई बी आई फर्टिलिटी इन मुंबई वी हैव सीन अ लॉट ऑफ कपल्स फेस प्रॉब्लम्स विद फर्टिलिटी विद ट्राइंग टू कंसीव विद बींग पेरेंट्स विच इज अ बेसिक जॉय फॉर अ कपल लोगों का काम है कहना बट दिस शुड नॉट डिसकरेज पीपल फ्राम अटैम्प्टिंग फर्टिलिटी फ्राम बींग पेरेंट्स एंड फ्राम गेटिंग दैट जॉय दैट बींग पेरेंट्स ब्रिंग्स टू दैम इन देर लाइफ A lot of times your doctors will try to evaluate you for something called as ovulation. What is ovulation exactly? Ovulation means growth of an egg and release of the egg at the appropriate time so that your body is able to receive the embryo which forms finally. Ovulation may not be happening because of multiple reasons. Ovulation may be disturbed because of hormonal disturbances something which we see in polycystic ovaries it could be disturbed because of hyperprolactinemia or your thyroid hormones being high these are the basic things which will affect however we also see in young girls who are heavily into athletics because of their heavy athletic activities ovulation can be delayed things like this should be important in your mind and on top of your priority if you feel that your periods are not regular it is time to seek help to find out whether you are ovulating or not The basic ways to check how whether you're ovulating or not are few which you can do yourself. One thing which tells you you are ovulating well is if you are getting your menses correctly on time. The first half of the menses which means from start of menses till the time of ovulation is fixed. However, after that the body will wait for 14 days to pregnancy to happen. If it does not happen then you will get your periods again. If you are having irregular periods that's the first sign that you are probably not ovulating in time. The second thing which can give you an idea about your ovulation is some amount of increased vaginal discharge or mucus discharge which happens preovulatory that is an indication that probably your egg is ready and hence the body is ready with mucus to filter out the abnormal sperms and let only the healthiest sperms go inside also you will be able to feel some amount of premenstrual syndromes which means water retention mood changes irritability these are the things which may or may not tell you towards ovulation If you really wanted to check whether you're ovulating or not, please don't rely on these basic symptoms. Best to check ovulation is by an ovulation kit, as we call it in market, which is available as LH kits. Second best thing is to do a blood test called serum progesterone on day 21 of your cycle, which will tell you whether you are ovulated or not. The third thing and one thing which we use most commonly is a follicular study. In a follicular study, you will be undergoing a series of examinations on ultrasound. to see how your follicle is growing it will also give you the expected time of ovulation and hence your fertile period if you want it the most reliable way of finding out whether you are ovulating and when you are ovulating follicular study is your cornerstone to stick by so by now you have done enough to improve your fertility and if still things are not working out there's no point sitting at home and wasting time It's time you should meet a fertility specialist and find out what exactly could be going wrong other than what points we have enumerated for you. If ovulation is a problem, there's a simple measures to improve that. If you're not ovulating by yourself because of hormonal disturbance, your doctors will give you some medication to improve upon that. You will be able to take some tablets to help you ovulate. During this time, they will see on ultrasound like I said before, when is the best time for you to get pregnant and that is the time you will be trying. Something important that you should not forget during this time is we are working on the woman we are talking about her lifestyle the husband's lifestyle is equally important the husband's parameters on sperm are equally important so if you are undergoing ovulation induction please ask your doctor to also check for your husband's sperm parameters to make sure they are in the fertile range sometimes some patients may not ovulate with tablets and in such patients it's okay to take some minor dose of injections which will help you to ovulate on time these are hormones which are very natural and they are also produced in your body sometimes they are not sufficient in your body to cause ovulation and hence your doctors will give a slightly higher dose to help you ovulate when we sum it up the crux of the problem is that things are not working out fine and you are trying to improve upon that and if that does not work you should seek medical help there is no stigma really attached to seeking medical help when you are ill you go to a doctor when you are not pregnant you should go to a doctor we know we want god to help it and let it happen naturally but we know god helps those who help themselves so please do not wait do not let precious years go by 
try to get pregnant as soon as you can.